Okay, so today guys, we're gonna go through a full day of eating for lean bulking for 2019. Okay, so we're training at lunchtime today, so I'm gonna have two meals before training. First meal for breakfast, I've got 160 grams of lean steak, and then we have 150 grams of egg whites with that. Uh, lean steak, I have to admit I am cheating a little bit. I have a meal prep company to do a lot of my food for me. So I've got um, my lunchbox meal prep. Uh, I do 150 grams steak, green veg, and then bang in egg whites. So the best thing to do with this is heat up the steak and the veg first, and then do the egg whites separately, and then put them all together. Whenever you're heating food, generally try to use glass for egg whites, and it won't stick so much to the pan while using plastic, so that's the tip of the day. So I'm bang this in the microwave. And it's as simple as that. Another easy tip to make all your food taste good, which I'm obsessed with, is onion salt, which is a bit of a random obsession. That, and with my other combination of other weird foods, 50% less sugar, ketchup. So those two will pretty much go well with everything, so that's a sneaky tip. Next up after that, we have caffeine. So um, fresh coffee is actually very good for you in terms of antioxidants and polyphenols. So in terms of this, you want to actually go through the packet of coffee within seven days before it starts to degrade, and also take it out of the crappy plastic bag, put it in a glass container, and it will preserve it and it will last longer in terms of the health benefits. So we use fresh ground coffee as well with breakfast. Last, lastly, magic before I eat my first meal, or something I always big into is digestion. So I'll always go for a walk first thing in the morning, just get everything moving around, drink, drink plenty of water, and then I'll also use digestive enzymes, and then um, you can maximize at the moment from, uh, this is strong nutrition, so it's astrachin and black pepper extract, which again just helps with absorption and digestion of food. So if you're looking to try and put on size and eat a lot of food, it's not what you eat, it's what you absorb, so you have to really try and stay on top of nailing your digestion. So that being said, I'm gonna take these and then enjoy this. Okay, so welcome to my office, uh, the CJ coaching lair where all the shredding fat loss magic goes down. Uh, so going in the first meal, uh, obviously we've got the steak, egg whites, fresh ground coffee. So this is where I spend most of my time for all my clients who are wandering. And in terms of efficiency, I'm pretty much always at my desk when I eat. I try and work at the same time, try and maximise everything I can. So I'm going to eat this now and then I'm going to go and take my health supplements afterwards, which we will run you through in detail. Okay, so you're looking to grow lean muscle tissue, so it's very, very important you get your nutrients in. So multivitamins and essentials that I take every day in terms of health purposes. Um, in terms of the healthier your body is, the better it will perform and the more muscle tissue you'll be able to grow. So I'm gonna run through what I'm currently using. Um, generally, I'll keep most of it all in like a one big container. So this is actually like, you've got Amazon, it's like a fishing, fishing tackling box for like hooks, if you look for that. That's what you will search for, it's like two quid. So I normally split everything up into here. Uh, but in terms of what I use, so the best multivitamin is a two per day uh, capsule from Life Extension. That is the one supplement, if you want to buy anything, is the one I recommend. It covers literally all bases. Uh, so use that. Uh, Cordyceps, which is basically like a mushroom extract, which is proven to show, uh, to improve muscular endurance. I use from the magician himself, uh, the Dr. Dean supplement needs uh, kidney and blood pressure stack. So that's to help improve, obviously, kidney and blood pressure. So this will basically contain every pretty much active ingredient in terms of health supplement that will improve that kidney and blood pressure. Uh, also use liver stack as well. So this also has some digestive uh, properties in it as well. So ox bile, 
powder extract, um, which has a big effect on that as well, and also DIM, which helps control estrogen in men. That's very useful. Um, this is something I've started using, which is the Stomach Defense Essentials from Swanson's, which is basically again, another digestive uh, product, which helps in terms of like your colon function and just general digestive function. That's obviously uh, in conjunction with the other digestive bits and pieces I took before my first meal earlier on. And then next up we've got, so this is vital, and in terms of where a lot of people tend to shortchange themselves with fish oils, getting cheap quality fish oils. So this is the best you can pretty much currently get. Um, it's Nordic oil, you need to keep it in the fridge. I use uh, two tables, sorry, two teaspoons of that first thing in the morning and two in the evening. So it's about 10 grams of uh, good quality fats. On top of that, use uh, liposomal coenzyme Q10, which is basically a massive, massive anti antioxidant. Uh, glutathione, again, is probably the most powerful antioxidant you can get. It's very, very important that when you're training really hard, you're getting a lot of muscle tissue breakdown, you take a lot of antioxidants because your body can become quite a toxic environment with all the lactic and acid and all the breakdown of tissue all the time from constantly training and eating so much food. So those two are very important. Next up is liposomal curcumin, uh, which also has resveratrol, which is again, it's an antioxidant. So the curcumin is like, pretty much the most powerful anti-inflammatory you can get, which is uh, gonna protect your overall health, but also help in terms of joint inflammation. So if you're training a lot of volume and training very heavy, like I'm training a lot twice a day at the moment, you can get very inflamed. And also if you're trying to add on body mass and muscle tissue, the more carbohydrates you tend to eat, you have a more pro-inflammatory diet, the more inflammation we have in the body, therefore having something like this, again, will help. So. With these three, again, I take one teaspoon in the morning, one in the evening, and with the Nordic oil, I take that uh, two, ta two teaspoons in the morning and two in the evening. And the rest of the supplements, again, I just take AM and PM with meals because you want to be taking supplements with meals because certain vitamins and, multiple, sorry, vitamins and minerals are fat soluble, which means they won't basically be absorbed in the presence of fat. So, knowledge bomb the day. I'll take these. So this is how you take all your vitamins and minerals like a pro. And we'll try not to choke and do this one one go. Two takes. However, that's like a meal in yourself. So if you're dieting, the more multivitamins and minerals you take, the more full you end up being. So that's another little tip. Next up, we're gonna take these bad boys. Shall I drop that? The only thing I have with these is they're gonna make a mess. This is the one I end up spilling everywhere. Hints while we're over the sink. Drop down and hit a little bit. That's easy as that. Okay, so now this is like MTV Cribs moment. We're going to the Aladdin's Den of my garage, which is pretty much like a supplement and cereal storage unit. Plus got a treadmill and loads of other food. So we're gonna have a quick look, just out of curiosity. It, I apologize, it is a mess, not normally this bad. So anyone who knows, I like to go for a morning walk. This has actually got its first outing this, this week. It's my new treadmill that I got gifted from someone. Uh, because the weather's particularly bad in the UK, this got to run out, so I've got 30 minutes walking around. It actually folds up, but I've left it out because I'm predicting bad weather. If you're into the gym, this is the essentials. So I've got a massive deep freezer, which is full of food. Uh, another food uh, fridge, obviously, full of food. Let me turn the light on. And then I've literally got... If you can't, you probably can't really see, but, because I apologise, it's messy. These are boxes, family-sized boxes of cereal. 
there's a year supply of Kellogg cereal in here. And then I've literally got supplements pretty much everywhere. Boxes of supplements, boxes of supplements, pretty much stocked up for the rafters, more supplements. So if there's ever a nuclear holocaust, I'm pretty good in terms of supplements and food. I've got more supplements here. Stocked up on Hershey sugar-free syrup. The important things in life, rice flakes, more trainers, Pepsi Max, everything. And then, as this is a bulky video, this is essential as well. So, 10 kilos of Thai jasmine rice. So if you want to get big and you want to find easily digestible carbs, that in the rice steamer ooh, is the one. And it's very cheap. However, let's go and make an intra-workout drink. Okay, so we're now going to put together an intra-workout drink. So this is essential for when you're training. In particular, if you're looking to try and build muscle mass, it's trying to focus on feeding your body nutrients when it needs them. So when you're in a relaxed state, your body only has 12% of blood in circulation in the muscle cells. When you're training, you have up to 77% of blood uh, in your body, in your muscle cells, which means, uh, in your muscles, which means you have an opportunity then to feed the muscles full of nutrients, which is what we're gonna do now by creating our intra workout drink. Um, in terms of this, what I'm really looking to do is try and put in ingredients which are gonna fuel uh, performance and also optimize recovery. So the better we can recover, the more frequently we can train and therefore the more muscle tissue we can build. So in terms of, first in terms of training performance, creatine for Muscle Nation there, uh, that is the most scientifically researched product that actually works and it's very, very cheap, fresh tub. Um, so in terms of dosage, a lot of people say you should only use, make a mess really, five grams of this. However, I am trialing going up to using 20 grams after doing a seminar with Milos Sarchev who spoke about how you can actually dose much higher than this. So the reason for that is if you think that the average individual they do the studies on probably hasn't got much muscle mass and it's probably just a normal person. Whereas if you're like a higher level trainer or athlete, chances are you can probably take in a higher amount of creatine because you have a higher amount of a body mass and also muscle mass. So 20 grams of creatine down the hatch. The secret ingredient as well for this, this is vital, is one of these funnels to try not make as much mess. However, I will still make a mess. Uh, then I'll use intra-workout carbohydrates. So this is just uh, cyclic dextrin. So here, like I'm using 45 grams, um, which for me is about maximum. I have used a lot more than this before. So I've used up to 100, 150, but I find once I go above 40, 50, I tend to like digestively feel quite heavy. I don't think your body takes it up particularly well, so I, I would suggest maximum for most people is probably 45, 50 grams into your workout. Let's try and get this to go in. It's like baking a cake. Scoops. These are 15 gram scoops. Job done. Okay, so next up, uh, intra EEA. So this is essential amino acids. This has actually got a blend of other products in there as well, like citrulline malate, 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 which helps with blood flow and also taurine, which helps with cell hydration. So essential amino acid will essentially, is like pre-digested broken down protein, which again are gonna help with recovery and keeping your body in an anabolic state. So when we train, your body is gonna go catabolic into a stress state. So we wanna try and protect it from breaking down muscle tissue ideally. Next up, so this is Pepto Pro, which again is another form of pre-digested protein. So this is a whole protein source. Um, so I'll use two scoops of this. So that's 30 grams of protein, essentially, that I'm gonna be having whilst training. So again, by doing this, we're keeping our body in a fueled state because we've got proteins and we've got carbohydrates. So essentially, 
we've got all these pre-digested nutrients your body's going to be utilizing when training and last but not least uh, glutamine so again this is phenomenal for gut health and also for recovery so i add 20 grams of glutamine in inch workout as well basically mix it all up, add plenty of ice and it tastes pretty good. Now this tastes banging to be fair, so uh, sour gummy flavour, so we're going to use two scoops of that. Drink to the gym done, and we will go into kind of pre-workout meal, which is literally my favourite meal of the day. I was saying to some of my Facebook groups, one of my clients, that part of the reason I think I train a lot twice a day now is because I could have this meal twice because it's so good. Mainly because of the flavour of whey protein, which is insane. So we'll discover that shortly. Okay, so next up we've got pre-workout meals. We've got 100 grams of ground rice going in, 50 grams of the insane chocolate honeycomb muscle nation whey protein. And then what I'm gonna add into that is 100 grams of frozen blueberries, and then also 10 grams of dark chocolate for healthy fats, polyphenols, and also to slow down digestion slightly. Uh, so I'm gonna add the ground rice to the berries, put a boil of water, and pop it in the microwave for about two minutes, and then stir in chocolate honeycomb whey, and mix it all up and go from there. Easy tip is use frozen blueberries. They're cheaper and they last longer, and I also prefer them anyway. So chocolate you want to use, 90% cocoa, so it's got a higher amount of polyphenols, antioxidants. The lint chocolate is the best one you can get in terms of it's cold processed in terms of the manufacturing, so it's the least processed of all of them. So it's not plug from lint, but I would highly recommend that. So it's 50 grams of protein. So this meal is gonna be 50 grams of protein. 100 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat. And again, the reason you use ground rice is it's easily digestible, easily sorry, digested, because it's obviously pretty much obviously broken down rice, so um, and white rice, so your body will absorb it very nicely and easily, and shouldn't bloat you out too much. And stir. And the other last thing I'd add is ground cinnamon, just for. Flavoring. Interesting fact, cinnamon it actually is proven to improve insulin sensitivity. So the way your body utilizes carbohydrates. So that's not much bomb today. But this is meal number two. So pre-workout meal, ground rice, 50 grams whey protein, 10 grams dark chocolate, 100 grams berries. So 50 grams protein, 100 grams carbs before training. Okay, so back, uh, Caster Johnson, we've now got post-workout going in. So this is, alongside pre-workout, the most important window of opportunity to add calories and nutrients into the body after training. So ideally in terms of when to eat, roughly when you feel ready, really within 60 minutes is ideal. So this is where you're gonna to wanna to go for a high carb option, low fat, high protein. So I'm going for 160 grams of cod with 175 grams of white potato. 
Then I'm gonna have 80 grams of Cocoa Pop cereal. Reason using cereal post-workout is that it's very easy to digest. It's a sweet treat and this is mainly rice based. It won't sit on my stomach. Fat content is also very low, so per 100 grams, it's only two grams of fat, so we'll just digest very quickly. I'm gonna mix that with some Alpro coconut milk and a little bit of sprinkling of Muscle Nation whey protein isolate. Chocolate flake flavor to add a bit more flavor, so I'm gonna microwave up the cod potato and then mix up the Cocoa Pops. The reason I like using a lot of white fish at the moment is particularly in terms of digestion. I find white fish digest easier than say something heavy like red meat and particularly after training, we want something that's gonna digest easily. So we can heat this up and then enjoy this meal. Okay, so we're now going to meal four. I'm actually gonna do some cooking. We're gonna continue with the fish theme from the previous meal. So I've got fresh yellow fin tuna portions here. Again, the reason I like using white fish is that, tuna does count as white fish, for anyone jibes with this, uh, is it's very easy to digest. So I'm gonna nail these on the pan. I'm gonna have around 160 grams of tuna, and then I'm gonna have half of one of these 125 grams of rice, which is about 38 grams of carbohydrates, um, because it's my post-workout post meal, I'll have more carbohydrates as well. So that obviously is microwave, and these I will sear in the pan. Top tip is make sure you have a decent frying pan. This is a Le Crusoe one, which is about 90 pounds. It's ridiculously expensive to spend on a frying pan, however that will last, and all your stuff, all your food you cook doesn't stick and burn to it. My second big tip, particularly staying lean, is using one calorie spray. So this is coconut oil, so I will spray this in the pan to stop it all sticking. And I'll also spray the fish with it. Um, what I also like to do is salt the fish quite heavily because I like to add a lot of, so this is pink Himalayan salt, you see it's jazzy and pink. So I like to add that to my food. So this tends to stop with cramps and the pink salt is higher in minerals than normal shit white salt. So I'm gonna get the pan super hot, sear these bad boys. That goes in the microwave for two minutes, and then we're ready to rock and roll for meal number four. So for cooking efficiency, I tend to cook a lot of stuff in bulk. So here I've got aubergine that I, actually my wife, I'll give her credit, uh, cooked in the oven the other day. So I'm gonna put this in the bowl and microwave that. So aubergine's really good if you're on a diet or you're dieting because it's very low in calories. So I'll microwave a bit of that, and then I'll have that also with a bit of spinach as well, which I'll microwave, just to heat it up a little bit. We're on now for meal five, lean steaks, lean beef. Again, another My Lunchbox meal, so 160 grams, so this is just a protein only meal with some veg. Um, using red meat again now instead of the fish because there's no carbohydrates or extra fats, so there's not really too much more to digest. Red meat, in my opinion, is probably the best source of protein in terms of actually building muscle because it tends to be more nutrient dense than a white fish, but then you obviously want to balance up digestibility. So I like to try and balance uh, in at least having two red meat meals a day, ideally. Uh, in terms of sources and types of red meat to use, the best is probably 5% steak mince. It's very easy to digest from your stomach, so that would be my suggestion. So I'm gonna heat this bad boy up and then put this one down. Okay, so meal number six, the pre-bed meal coming up. So uh, big fan, this is like almost like a pudding before bed, so it's very, very nice. Uh, Farhe Greek yogurt, 0% fat. Macros on this are like magic. So 100 grams of yogurt, 54 calories only. 10 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, and zero grams of fat. So if you were to eat this entire tub, which is a kilo, which would be an impressive effort, it's only 540 calories, and that would be 100 grams of protein. Now we're gonna use 300 grams of the Farhe yogurt, 
So we're gonna get a solid 30 grams of protein from that. We're gonna use a scoop of the Muscle Nation protein whey isolate, fruity cereal. So this is quite a sweet one with yogurt. Makes a nice uh, pudding flavor as we said. And then 100 grams of frozen blueberries. Why I like to use blueberries, uh, phenomenally good in terms of antioxidants and they're a good source of carb, they're low glycemic carbs, carbohydrates, and they're not gonna uh, spike your blood sugar. And also in terms of uh, uh, like the frozen ones taste really nice with yogurt as a bit of like a fruity dessert taste, so it's a good combination. But, so we'll throw it all together. Again, the anabolic curls. Yogurt is the question today. Might be going to scrape in, I reckon. Oh, getting it everywhere. That's 284 grams. Can we get 15 grams out? 298. 308 grams. That's close enough. We're trying to add weight. I'd rather be over than under. Fruity cereal. So even it does taste fruity. It's very sweet, this one. What you notice with the Muscle Nation protein, the quality of it, it's very like granular because it's very well made with cold processing. Whereas you notice cheaper whey proteins are clumpy. And we're gonna mix this all up. Decent stir. Like so. Nicely. And then we add 100 grams of fruit and blueberries, which is about 14 grams of carbohydrates. Just want to drop a spoon in it. 100 on the dot. Bang, and a piece of the resistance to finish this off is yet again. Oh shit, nearly dropped it. The Hershey's. Hope you saw that was a good catch. Hershey sugar free syrup. So we put a healthy dab out on there. And that's the boy. So you've got 300 grams of fiber yogurt, 30 grams of protein, whey isolate, that's 25. So this is going to be 55 grams of protein in this meal. You've got 14 grams of carbs from the blueberries. And that is one banging anabolic pre bed protein based meal. So this, if you haven't tried it, is phenomenal. So a lot of my clients, my Shred Nate program, have loved this. It's very good in terms of getting lean. If you want more calories, you want to try and bulk this up a little bit more, my suggestion, add dark chocolate for fats, or you add something like peanut butter or almond butter. So those are two other good suggestions. Something else that also goes quite well with this is cinnamon. So that is it. This is meal six. I'm going to eat, finish with a spout boy off, and then take my pre-bed supplements as a whole day of eating. So hope you guys enjoy it. They enjoy the whole information, all the meals I've seen. I'm gonna list the entire diet below in the summary for you guys can have a look at the full macro breakdown. If you have any questions, please do let me know. I'm gonna do another full day of eating, full day of bulking for my double training day sessions where I'm eating 500 grams of carbs. So today's only been 300. So keep your eyes peeled for that video which will be coming soon. And anything else you'd like to know, please do let me know. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please press the bell for all notifications when my next videos go live. And please like and share this video.